Let's talk about social media, why it matters, and what to post. So you can have as many social media profiles as you want or as few as you want. I do suggest at the very least having an Instagram portfolio. It is a free way to get your portfolio out there and to be able to be searched and tagged and it's free, but you do what works for you and your life and your happiness and your desires. But remember that clients are looking at social media. If you have no presence at all, some clients may not care, some may care. It's not necessarily about your following. It's about them getting to see your personality. So it's not necessarily going to hurt you if you don't have social media, but you may not be helping yourself. It is a free tool where the client can look you up, see your personality, and then maybe connect with you even better and want to book you. And that's an advantage that other models are going to have. If you do not do that, just be aware of that and the fact that it can help you at the very least, like I said, I think you should have a free Instagram profile, but do whatever works for you. When it comes to your username, you wanna keep it something easy to remember. Clients may forget what agency you are at. They are casting thousands of models a year. They get confused, they lose cards. All of the agencies have similar names sometimes. So having a username that is easy to remember and simple can be very helpful when those clients need to find you. Also, if you get dropped from an agency or leave an agency, they are not going to tell your clients where you went because they do not view them as your clients. They view them as their clients. So they are going to simply tell the client that you are unavailable or they have no idea where you went. If the client is able to Google you or go on Instagram or TikTok and search your name, something very easy to remember, they can find you and book you. So it can be very helpful. I suggest avoiding profanity and special characters. Profanity can turn off some clients from working with you, but of course do whatever makes you happy. And special characters can be hard to remember and not necessarily come up in the search. And if you have your own website, matching your usernames to your website, if it's available, can be very helpful, especially with Google SEO, search engine optimization. So when someone goes and just Googles your name, if all of your social media and your website have the same, mine are all Lena Coco Hunter, they all pop up when you Google my name. And it makes it very easy for someone to contact me whatever way is most simple for them, whichever program they're on or whichever social media, or if they prefer email, they're able to choose and they're able to find it all. And don't forget that now Instagram and TikTok are being indexed by Google. So Google goes into those apps and finds all of your posts and everything you wrote about and it decides where it should pop up on Google. So if you are using good keywords and have matching usernames, you can pop up higher on those Google searches. Again, hopefully leading to you getting more bookings and retaining more clients. When it comes to what you are posting, you wanna be aware of conflict of interest. So everything that you do in life as a model is both going to gain you clients and lose you clients. If you are brunette, there are going to be clients who wanna book you. There are also gonna be clients who don't wanna book you this week or this month or this year because maybe they want blondes to go with their clothing. Maybe they don't want brunette to go with their clothing or maybe they booked a brunette last year and so now they wanna switch it up. So you could be losing clients because you're a brunette. It doesn't matter or mean that you should change your hair. It's just something you should be aware of. The same way that that blonde person is going to lose all those clients are brunettes. You cannot please everybody, but you should be aware there are certain things, unlike your hair color, like alcohol, smoking of cigarettes or marijuana, and nudity or profanity, and uh, all of these behaviors can turn off clients. There are certain conservative clients like Walmart and Target who if they go onto your profile and see a lot of alcohol and drug use, even if it is legal in your state and you are legal age, they may not want to book you because they do not want to be associated with that as a brand. Be aware of that so that you can make a conscious choice like we talked about in Model S Mindset. You can see that pop up come up if you want to go back and watch that video. You are making those conscious choices. So if you're like, you know what? No, I love to party and I'm not ashamed of it and I wanna post it, then go right ahead. But then also understand it's a waste of your time probably to go to those target castings. I say probably because everything is a case by case basis, but from what I know, 
Target, Walmart, even smaller companies are looking at your social media more and more each day. Companies are looking at your social media before casting you, before booking you. Even when the agency sends a package, they are looking up those models. Sometimes they have people whose entire job is to look up the models on social media. So be aware of what you're posting and make conscious choices. I don't want you to post something and then regret it later because you're, you didn't realize that clients were looking at it. I want you to be aware of it. I'm not telling you not to live your life or be yourself, but be aware of what you're posting and what kind of clients you want to be booking. And don't sabotage yourself with things that could be conflicts of interest for those clients. Also, when we are talking about that social media, at the bare minimum, like I said, having a profile with your portfolio on Instagram is a great idea. It is free. It allows you to be tagged by everybody who's working with you on different sets at the very least. You don't have to be on there every day posting, but it exists. It's not about having millions of followers. It's about somebody being able to look up your name on Instagram and see your work and see how to work with you. If you want to go the extra mile on Instagram, TikTok, wherever you're posting, you can post things like behind the scenes on the set, behind the scenes in your life, how you prepare, how you wind down, how you handle your days off. Also post your new work. It is great to see that you're working and also get all those tags and all that networking going on. And your personality, show who you are, what you love, what you're obsessed with, what your hobbies are, what activism you care about. People love to see your personality. So if you are willing to share that, I highly suggest doing it. Clients really connect with it, as do agencies. So I think it can really help you. When it comes to your bio, you want to have a full bio, and that means stating somewhere that you are a model. A lot of clients now say that it is very confusing on the internet to understand who is a model versus an influencer versus just a pretty person that likes to take photos and knows how to Photoshop. Some people just really love to make their Instagram or their TikTok look really nice and they look all done up every day, but we can't figure out who's a model anymore. It get, It's blurry. So make it obvious with the word model or modeling or your agency name or something so that the client knows you're a model when they look at your bio. Also a way to contact you for those bookings. If you want them to DM you, if they want you to email, if you have representation and you'd rather they contact them, make that clear in the bio somewhere. And also your location. It may be obvious to you that you live in the city you live in, but it's not always obvious to everyone else where you are currently in the world so adding your location can be very helpful. If you have your own website and have multiple links that you want clients or potential agencies to be able to see, you can try link in bio or flow code because as you know, there's only one link in social media. So having these allows you to get around that and have multiple links. We'll talk about that in a few slides. Dealing with that bio and what to put in it, your name should be clear. If your username is not your name, then put your name somewhere. People don't know what your name is. And when they want to look you up at your agency or they want to write you a message, they want to know your name. So make sure your name is somewhere. Hopefully it's in your username. Again, make it clear that you are a model, your location, how to contact you for bookings, be that DM, email, your agency, wherever. Make it clear on how you would like to be contacted. If you do have an agency, you can add that there. Maybe you tag them if they have a profile on the same social media platform that you're on, or you can just write it out if you need to save characters. And also you could add a tagline. And we'll talk about what a tagline is in a second. So consistency can be very helpful in social media platforms. You see on the left, this is my Instagram profile, and on the right is my TikTok profile. Both profiles have the same photo and the same username and a similar bio. The part that I want you to think about with consistency is the profile photo and the username. By having those usernames exactly the same across all my platforms, as I mentioned before, it makes Google happy. It makes it easier for people to find. They don't even have to go into my links. They just know to type in my name. It's very easy and it helps to allow people to find me on any platform with little to no effort. And by having that matching photo across all platforms, it allows people to recognize me. 
but there's even more to that matching photo. This photo is my main acting photo. So I focus more on acting than modeling. Yours would be a modeling photo. But if you have a card, I suggest having the photo in your profile be the same photo as your card because then when you go to castings and you show them your card, they can immediately in their brain connect it and remember to all those good feelings they had when they were looking at your social media because of those photos matching. So when I go into acting auditions, people remember my social media and will even mention it because they're like, oh yeah, it's really easy for them to click and remember because my name matches and my photo matches just like the one that I just handed them in person as a headshot. So when you hand somebody a card, they're able to recognize you when they go look on social media, when they're tagging you, all of those things, they recognize it a lot easier. It's like brand recognition. You are a brand in and of yourself. You know the Pepsi logo? You can read it without even having the word Pepsi over it. We all know that blue and red swipey circle thing. You know what I'm describing, even though I just described it horribly, you probably know exactly what I'm describing because of brand recognition. So that's what we're aiming for for here for you is your own brand recognition of your face. And so we're looking for that headshot to match your card. You don't have to do this. Do whatever works for you. But I have found it very helpful and I like to do it. So I do suggest it. Talking about that tagline, a tagline is just a short and sweet little sentence that shows off a little bit of your personality and is catchy. I learned this with an agency that I was signed. They put it on their cards and mine was at the Baskin Taco Obsessed Valley Girl. So I told you about my ethnicity at the very beginning. I am an Alaskan native. I talk about it all the time. It comes up in conversation all the time. So I like to lead with that. I am obsessed with tacos. I love them. I eat them every single day. I am also Mexican. I grew up around a lot of Mexicans. So again, it's a part of me and my culture and something I could talk about a lot. So it's there. And I grew up in Encino at one point. So Valley Girl, I got my Valley Girl accent. I talk real fast and high pitch. So that's what was fit for me. Yours could be something like shoe model by day, UX designer by night, or bi coastal model, dog lover, and social activist or whatever it is that's about you, something about you, or you could have no tagline at all. I used the tagline at the top for a while, but then I kind of got bored of it and I didn't really care about it. I didn't think it was that big of a deal, so I didn't have any more character space for it and I changed my bio so it's no longer in there. But you can make one if you want, it's fun and catchy. People did mention it, people would remember it from my website and my socials and they would say it to me when I was at castings. So people are definitely reading it and connecting with it. It's short and catchy. It can be useful. Again, do whatever works for you, but this is how you would make a basic tagline. So when we are talking about Instagram, there is the highlight feature. You can add in, of course, this is mine and it's more about acting, but yours would have your, mo your modeling portfolio. Maybe you wanna add your digitals and then have one that has your tears and recent work. You could also do a behind the scenes one. You could do a one uh, day in the life of a model. If you live in multiple cities, you could do day in the life in New York, day in the life in LA, whatever works for you, however much energy you have to put into it. But these are where you highlight your stories if you need more details on this, let me know. Now, when you are highlighting your post, you use the guide function. So you see the fourth icon that is darker than the rest and underlined that looks like a little book. That is the guide section. And you create these guides like you see here. Mine are model-esque and acting real. You can make yours a portfolio, your digitals, your tears, some behind the scenes stuff. And this way, people don't have to go through your whole profile. If you've got lots of stuff that you're posting about, maybe you do modeling and you also love to post about dogs or yoga or something else, you can highlight your portfolio in one of these guides so that people can go to the guides and see your portfolio without having to scroll through all your other yoga posts first if they just want to get to the point. It can be helpful. Of course, do what you have the energy for and what makes you happy. Talking about that flow code or link in bio, if you have multiple links that you are wanting people to see or know about, you are going to want some type of link in bio. You could also create one on your own website if you have your own website. I prefer to use flow code because it's just so easy and it's free. 
Uh, you can see on the left, again, I'm using that same photo that I have on all my other profiles for brand recognition. My name is clearly stated. That is my tagline, Indigenous SAG After Actor and Creator of Model S Mindset. So yours would say something about modeling. Uh, make it clear that you are a model. And then there's my email button and my location. In that second column, you see I've got a bunch of links. I have a lot of different things I want people to see. And you organize them based on what you want. I've got some social media links in there. I've got acting links in there. I've got Model S links in there. At the very bottom, you see there's my media kit for if people want to hire me as an influencer every once in a while. I don't do influencing that much because I don't like to promote products I don't actually care about. So it's at the very bottom. So you'd organize these links based on what you want people to go to and what you care about. Maybe you would have your own website. Maybe you would have a direct link to your agency portfolio. If you have multiple agencies, you would have multiple links, whatever works for you. When you're editing a flow code, they make it really easy for you. And you see on the left, that's where I edit and add everything. On the right, they show you a preview and you're able to scroll it and see exactly what it looks like when somebody's looking at it on the phone. But the part I really love about flow code is this thing, the QR code. So on the very left, you see it used to be my background on my phone and people could scan that and be able to get to all my links. So when I was on set and someone was like, hey, uh, do you have your portfolio? And they weren't on acting sets. They're not necessarily the people who hired you. There's like hundreds of people. So I found that I was constantly getting asked for my links and having to tell people and write it down. And here they could just scan it with their phone. So you see in that middle one, when you open your camera to photo mode, it doesn't work in video mode, but in photo mode, it will automatically scan any QR code you see anywhere. And you see at the very right photo, I have and now this little sticker that the flow code people sent me that goes on the bottom of your phone. And people can either tap that, not all phones have the tapping feature, but if they tap it, it pops up like a little notification. They're able to click it and boom, they can see all my links. Or like I said, in the middle, they can scan it with their phone camera and able to see all my links. So I really love that QR code feature and that's why I love using the flow code versus link in bio or my own website. Do whatever works for you uh, when it comes to those social media links. So that is pretty much everything you need to know about being present on social media, putting your best foot forward. Like I said, make conscious choices with what you post, make it clear that you're a model and how to book you. And social media is a great free tool that you can use to gain more clients and potentially get signed to agencies if that's what you're looking for. If you want to know more about self submissions, how to contact those clients, then you can click into my video titled how to get work without an agency. I will also link it in the comments so that way you have it. If you have any questions or you feel I missed anything, comment below. If this is working for you, if it's made anything better, if you're getting good results, please share that with me. I want to hear about it. Put it in the comments, share it on social media, use the hashtag Model S Mindset. I want to hear about it. Please let me know. And as always, if you'd like to book a virtual one-on-one, -on -one, the link is provided.